The blade has been hardened and tempered. We're now moving on to sanding and polishing. The blade is now being hand sanded with progressively finer grit ranging from 220 to 1000. The blade is now being cleaned to be etched. You can etch using lemon juice or vinegar to bring out the clay line or hamon. We are now moving on to the guard. We are cutting this out of a bar of mild steel that is 3 eighths thick. Once the guard shape is cut out, you will now drill holes in the center of the guard to form the slot for the tang. When drilling, a perfect slot was not formed, so the rest is left for forging. Using a chisel the exact same size as the tang, we forge the slot. The slot is then filed for a perfect fit. Don't forget to continuously test to see if the guard fits perfectly. After the slot is filed to shape, you can now clean up the guard. We are now sanding to the final shape. The guard is now done. We are now moving on to the handle. We are creating this using a piece of red oak. Using a chisel, a slot is made for the tang. Using a jigsaw, we cut out the handle, but this could be done using any handsaw. In the next few clips, you will see the handle sanded and formed to shape. The handle is now being glued together and is going to be left to dry for 24 hours. The end of the knife is now being flattened or peened to hold the knife together. For added strength, we are adding two pins that go through the wood and tang of the blade. The knife is now complete. Thanks for watching, and look out for future projects.